Christmas. Almost. I was about to say that, and then I was like, well, can I say that before the fact? And then I didn't. But yeah, happy holidays, everyone. Merry Christmas, if that's what you celebrate. Yeah. Here we are a couple days before Christmas. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is going to be a Christmassy themed episode. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to be like jolly festive magic. I guess. Yeah, we're just going to talk about We're just going to talk about Christmas plans. Holidays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, hi, Megan. How are you? Oh, no. Um, Hi. Welcome to Hey Mama, I Have Questions. I'm Hannah. Oh, amazing. I'm Megan. <laughs> there we go. Okay. We're so now. glad you're here. <laughs> How are you, Megan? Good morning. I'm good. I'm good. I have my coffee. I've got my festive little penguin with me. To bring me some holiday joy. <laughs> um, and just having a morning. Baby's away. Moms will record podcasts. Where is he? He's at his grandparents' house. Oh, yay. Yeah, one of the many houses. Um, they were going to come and just watch him for part of yesterday. And then through many logistical quandaries we just ended up meeting him and handing him off for the night and so he's coming back today oh cute yeah cool. on theme we went to a um christmas choral concert yesterday which we ended up being we only we missed like the whole first half it was very sad <laughs> um i thought it was the wrong time and then we got there at the first wrong time and then we met a lady at the door who said it was even later than I thought it was and so we like went off for a walk for 15 minutes and came back and then went inside and realized that not only was she wrong we had also been wrong but we got the second half and there was caroling and there was holly and there was wassailing it was all great just a shorter version so you are fully in the Christmas spirit. Something like that. I'm working on it. I dehydrated oranges to put on my Christmas tree, and I love them. Oh, wow. That must have, must have smelled really nice in your house that day. I don't know. I still can't smell really well. I caught a whiff oh. of it once. <laughs> but that was it. I'd have to ask Hunter if it smelled delicious. But they're really beautiful. And they're catching the light really nice. I was going to make a garland, oh, yeah. but that's too much work. So I just put them on hooks and put them on the tree, and it was perfect. I wanted to do that, I think, for my wedding. Mm-hmm. I had probably I researched that. zero waste um, mm-hmm. decoration and wanted to do that. I never did. I, I didn't do, I was going to say I didn't do any decoration for my wedding, but I really didn't do anything, <laughs> period. No, you did a you did planning. A little bit. A very teeny, teeny little bit, which I loved that I Yeah. Hardly Ideal did outcome, anything. Really. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna ask something else. Oh, when you said I still can't smell my head went to okay how many episodes was that ago that you just now gave a tiny update about <laughs> oh i don't know i don't know how many a while episodes ago it was, but think. it was a while ago it was beginning of october that it actually happened so um yeah so a little bit more than two months two and a little bit yeah yeah i've heard of and I can't. I can smell some things. Like I can smell, just not very well. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't have a very sensitive smell sense right now. Right. Which has its pros and cons. Yeah. Yeah. It'll come back. Keep us updated. Oh, oh yeah, sure will. <laughs> Speaking of updates, um, yeah, I have an update to the last episode. In case you listened to it. I can proudly announce that yesterday, which is actually the day after we recorded that episode, um, 
I started my period. I'm currently <laughs> bleeding <laughs> and very <laughs> happy about <laughs> it. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. It's so exciting. I just told Megan before we started recording, I gave her a uh, play-by-play. Is that what you say? Sure. That yesterday I triumphantly came out of the bathroom and <laughs> showed my husband my bloody underwear and <laughs> wanted That's to amazing. celebrate together that I was finally bleeding and now the owner of all of my brain space again. Congratulations. So, yeah. Thanks. Ugh. So exciting. <laughs> okay. What are your Christmas plans for this year? <laughs> Merry Christmas. Uh, Christmas plans are going to see my parents. We switch off years for holidays, so we're going to my, my family this year for Christmas. And it's going to be great. We're going to gather around and eat food and exchange presents. We made a lower... We made a price limit on our gifts this year, which is excellent. Takes a lot of pressure off to find something like absolutely fabulous um, and spend a bunch of money. (laughs) And so that's really lovely. And my brother and sister-in-law are coming from Alaska, which is amazing. We haven't seen them since they moved. I guess that was the beginning of this year. Yeah, they moved at the very beginning of this year. Um, Haven't seen them since then, so that'll be really nice. What are your plans? I don't know. I am not really a Christmas person. I was contemplating if I should say any more. I don't know if I ever was. Hmm. I think I was, but I I don't care for it as much anymore. And so I think we're going to my dad's house and have the same food that we always have, um, carry on the one Christmas tradition Mm -hmm. that we actually all like and is (laughs) not stressful, I think. Nice. Um, Yeah. I think the point for most of us really is just to have my grandmother happy to Hmm. um, get her out of... She's, yeah, she's sad. She feels very lonely. She's Mm -hmm. in assisted living because financially we can't care for her any other way. Mm -hmm. Um, So it's always nice to have... A reason to be able to have like a family gathering because that definitely makes her happy um yeah so i think that's really just wow this sorry to be the bummer here no, i think that's really, really just the that's... point for all of us this year to do anything at all at least that's what i feel like yeah christmas is complicated for yeah. a lot of people, yeah. you know, it's, it's not a clear cut, only joy all the time thing. Yeah. It's been and weird. family is complicated. Yeah. It's been weird since, um, my parents separated, I think the first year. I had everybody over here, mm. um, which turned out very stressful for me. I'm not, I'm not a sure. good hostess. I stress out, and like you said, Christmas is usually already stressful because everyone's together and everyone is trying to be on their best behavior, and everyone mm-hmm. has their triggers, and everyone is pushing each other's buttons. And yeah, I'm looking forward to all of this. Also, uh, yeah, so then this year I think again I even considered it for my grandmother but Mateo's was like nope (laughs) which I was like thank you you're yeah 
you're you're a good caretaker of mine. <laughs> Thank you for bringing the reason into my feelings, into my cloudy family feeling bubble. Yeah, and we used to always do it as at my dad's house, which is where we grew up, and we have the space there, so we're probably still just gonna go over there. Yeah. Um, Lots of spaces. Yeah. I know, and then some years I just wasn't here because I was in Brazil because right. I like to flee from the winter because I like emotionally, mentally just don't do well in northern hemisphere winters. Seasonally affected. Yeah. All the time. And was always very glad when I was in Brazil and didn't feel Christmassy because it's mm. summer there. Mm-hmm. And I mean, they celebrate Christmas too, but to me, like I didn't pick up on any of the vibes because that's mm. not the vibes that I grew up with. So I'm blissfully oblivious to them. Christmas was not in your air. Yeah. Yeah. And every time I noticed how nice that was for me. Yeah. Which is why I think I came to this space of, I just, it's just not of importance to me yeah. anymore. Well, there you go. Yeah. I'm going to be with family and all of the pluses, minuses, and in-betweens that that comes with. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'm. I'm wondering how that will be for you with little ones running about. Yeah, I was just talking about that a little bit with Matthias the other day, contemplating if I did want to have that be a thing in our nuclear family because both of us don't really care about it. And Mm -hmm. um, we, even in the family that we grew up with, we didn't celebrate it out of religious reasons. Mm -hmm. Um, It's more because like that's socially the thing that you do. So I at some point questioned why like if it had any importance for me and I realized that like I said since it doesn't have any like spiritual religious reasons for me it's not really important so then do I want to continue it Mm. and I'm contemplating that I might not want to but I don't have the answer to that yet. All good things to contemplate. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That'll be one of the many interesting things to see how we decide that. Yeah, for sure. And how your um, kids potentially interact with that based on where they're, who they're interacting with and who their peers are and what they're doing and yeah, all of that. And they are already going to have a more faceted view on it because they are going to grow up with and in two different cultures. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely. So independently on if Mateus and I decide or decide to not celebrate Christmas, um, they're going to... It's going to be different depending on which country we're in, which family we're at. So they're already going to have a faceted view on it. So I guess that Mm. maybe makes it easier if we decide to not do anything about it. I don't know. How was last year the first Christmas with a child? Yeah, well, so I really love Christmas. I really do. It's... It makes me feel so cozy and warm and sparkly. Uh-huh. And um, so it's just a really fun time of year for me. As an adult without kids, it has been a little less sparkly um, just because I think 
magically speaking and obligation wise and like all of the Mm. organization and scheduling that has to go into Christmas when you're an adult, especially an adult with a partner with their own family and all of the things that have to happen. So yeah, I was really excited for like the first Christmas with a baby. Um, And he was, how old is he? Like six months old? five mm-hmm. five or six months old um so he was like aware and smiling and looking at stuff and moving around I think he may have started crawling right around that time oh no it was after that but he was moving he was rolling he was engaged mm-hmm. in interpersonal and stuff like more than two feet away from his face um so that was fun he really liked the Christmas lights he liked reaching out to them um, my, one, my mother-in-law and her husband came over and, um, dressed as Santa and Mrs. Claus and took pictures with them because I honestly, I had, I didn't even think about Santa pictures. Mm-hmm. Didn't cross my mind, but they were like, well, he can't go see Santa. So we have to do this so he can have Santa pictures. And I was like, <laughs> oh cute. yeah, absolutely. That's great. And it was, it was really cute. It was so sweet. And we have those pictures now. And, um, it's just, it's just very adorable. And it was really cute. I think it was fun for all of us to sort of have this imagining of creating Christmas magic for this little baby. Yeah. Um, it was, yeah, it was really beautiful. It was really cute. You know, obviously he's not engaged in the Christmas story, any version of the Christmas story at that point. Um, So I think we're going to have a lot of like new versions of Christmasing coming in over the next few years as he gets more and more further and further out in imagination and in that sort of thing. And so we have talked about this year. He can understand very immediate stuff. Like, we have lots of conversations, but imaginative stories are still outside of his realm right now. Yeah. And so um, he really likes looking at the Christmas tree. We got a Christmas tree last weekend. Um, and he's he's getting the this is for looking, not for touching thing, which I'm so excited about. I was going to ask, how's, how's that? <laughs> Great. So we only took out safe ornaments um so we've got our cloth ornaments and the wooden ornaments and um, the oranges the plastic and the oranges right exactly so we have none breakable or at least if they break they won't hurt anyone ornaments um but basically after the first day you know, he, it was so cute. He went over and um, started touching one of the ornaments and I go, oh no, no, those are, those are for looking, not for touching, not for touching, buddy. Those are for looking, not for touching. And he was like kind of grumpy about it. He was like, and, but he didn't. And he walked away and then he oh, walked wow. back over and put his finger up to it, but not touching it, put it up close. And I go, not for touching, buddy. And he goes, like he just started shaking his hand around and shaking his head like and then he did it again and I didn't say anything this time but he walked over and he put his finger up and then he started shaking his head and shaking his hand around and going no 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 like oh my god as if he was saying like this is not for touching and he were practicing it or like yeah. processing it or something I don't know it was amazing and so cute and so cool and his brain is a mystery and christmas magic <laughs> I don't know. It was really neat. Yeah. So that's been really fun. And he loved playing with the dehydrated oranges. He was stacking them and legging them out and then stacking them back up again. Um, yeah. So he's been having fun with that sort of thing. And we've talked a little bit about in the coming years, if and how and to what extent we're going to do Santa stuff. And I really like the idea of an advent calendar but the idea of a gift advent calendar is 
so much work and so much mm-hmm. organization and so much stuff. Like yep. even if it's edible things, it's a lot. Yep. Um, so I found online somewhere this DIY thing for an advent calendar that's not gift oriented and also reusable. So like it was just a tree painted on a piece of wood and it had little hooks and you hung little ornaments with numbers on them for each day of the month of December. So you have 24 or 25 ornaments and um, you put them on this piece of wood and that's so cute. And so I think we're going to do that next year or something. I'm not sure. I don't know. So we're just imagining all of these ways to create Christmas in our nucle- nuclear family in a way yeah. that is fun and also manageable and also aligns with less of the consumerist stuff around Christmas. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's kind of fun. It's there's still the adultness of obligations and schedule all the admin organization yeah all the christmas admin um but because that's not the only thing we're doing around christmas because we also have this tiny human to create wonder for um it mutes it mutes the admin a little bit oh nice yeah it's really lovely also means that I haven't gone Christmas shopping yet, but we'll get there. It's fine. Any traditions yet that you guys thought about that you and Hunter that you wanted to start with him, with with your boy? Yeah, I think the advent calendar thing is the main one we've talked about. Um, yeah, Hunter's not super enthusiastic about traditions and like creating them like ceremony for ceremony's sake Mm -hmm. um yeah so I'm a little more into that but I'm also not gonna push it solo um so I really like the idea of counting down the days um because it's It's about awareness. It's, and there are, you know, there's the advent calendars that are like an act of kindness every day of December or something like that. So Mm -hmm. maybe we'll do something like that in the future um, to be a little more engaged with the season of giving and all of that. Um, But I don't know. I like music, I like decorations. Mm -hmm. So both of those are going to be incorporated into our Christmas season, but yeah, decorating a tree. Yeah. Just your standard, standard basics. Right. Yeah. My brother and I used to love our advent calendars. I think that probably was my favorite um, when I was a kid around that. Yeah. And I... Um, I snuck them into the house last year with help of my brother, actually. Um, I um, got his help to find them at my dad's house in the attic, and then he got them here and distracted my mom and then and like left me his car keys, and then I quickly got them out of the car, and um, I made advent calendars for my mom and my husband Um, oh that's so cute yeah they were very excited my mom cried um it was yeah she was very touched that was cute and I did it with um just candy and this year I wanted to do it with um love notes oh yeah that's really cute um but time got away from me. I That's didn't. the thing with that kind of advent calendar. It yeah. takes so much time. Yeah. Yep. 
And you have to think about it so far ahead of when Christmas is even on your mind. Mm Mm-hmm. So. Yep. So there wasn't one this year. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope everyone has a merry Christmas weekend. If you celebrate that. Right. If you are going to Christmas this weekend. And if not, and if it's not going to be merry, just make sure you take care of yourself and be kind to yourself. Yeah. And don't feel so obligated that you make it a terrible time for yourself. It's okay to say no. Mm. It's okay to not go to Christmas. Hmm. Yeah. All our love. Much love. Talk to you next week. I'll talk to you next week. Bye. Bye.